Thanks for watching another tutorial from timeleftsblog.com. You may have seen videos similar to this one around the internet. Uh, this is from the International Space Station. It's time lapse made from individual photos taken by astronauts. This one's on the NASA website, but these are also on YouTube. Some of them have gotten millions of hits. And the secret to these is that you can do this yourself at home with just a computer. The, all the images are freely available through NASA. They do want you to show attribution, and so I'm going to include some links showing their uh, fair use policy here uh, for the different types of photos you might use. And so these are all going to be on the website, or you can look at the top of the video. Um, I'm also going to show you a couple places where you might find some photos, including the new Curiosity rover. They haven't uploaded a whole bunch of photos yet. Uh, as they do, I imagine we're going to get some pretty impressive uh, time-lapse videos from it, especially when it starts moving, when the, the cameras start moving around, when it starts uh, finding something that's worth worth recording. There are also, um, I've made one from the SOHO uh, solar telescope before, uh, the satellite, and this makes some good videos. But today I'm going to show you the the major NASA um, uh, website for photos. And these actually have some videos already made out of these photos. NASA has done this. You're, they're free to download. This is the one I showed at the beginning. Uh, so you can watch the, the full HD, the 1080p video by clicking here, low resolution. Or we can even download the high resolution photos that were taken from this. And that's fine if you want to recreate this or any of the other videos on this site. However, I'm going to show you how to find your own because uh, as these missions progress, we're going to see more and more photos put up. And so right now I can search a um, huge amount of missions going back, uh, back to the 60s even here. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you from ISS-031 because I... I know they have a lot of good fixed position camera shots um, that have been used for a lot of videos. And so from this we can do run query. That's going to take a long time. And we're going to get something like this. And it's going to it's going to look like this. And then you just click show thumbnails. And if we go to the bottom here we can see that there's about 3,000 pages, uh, the number of records, 150,000 photos. So I just picked a random one. I kind of like these. What we're looking for is something interesting. Uh, fixed position, as I said before, which will be hard to tell, but I'll, I'll show you how to do that. And um, something where we have at least 100 photos. We can do shorter than that, but it's going to be a pretty short video and we're going to have to lower the frame rate. So we want at least 100 videos. So what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to click on this, I'm going to click on the uh, number and it's going to pull this up. And the reason I pull up on, on the number and not the image is because I want all this stuff to be at the bottom. So this is a low resolution and this is what we're going to be working on for this video. But what we can do is request, uh, if you click request here, you'll get this screen and about five minutes later you can click on the link and it will show you a high definition photo and so if you find a range of photos that you really like what you're going to do is just go one by one click through all of them get these screens give it five ten minutes come back you have uh, 24 hours to get your photo and then we're going to download them individually but just to make it easy to make sure we're not wasting our time doing that uh, let's make a video off the standard definition here so to begin with, I don't want to. I want to find out what the what's in this sequence. And you can see there are a few here. They look pretty good, but I don't know exactly what they are. So I'm going to right-click on this, view the image, so I can find out the actual location of the image. Now I've experimented with uh, Google Chrome and Firefox. Firefox seems to have a couple better plugins for this. Um, the, you know, there's a couple other options. I think. They, they offered an FTP option. It's really not something I'm interested in. So I tried a few different plugins. 
this one seems to work pretty well. This is called Pilfer, terrible name. Uh, but what it's going to do is going to look at the number of the the file, and then we can say, show me the next, you know, 500 in this series. And I click on that, and it's going to open a new tab. And there we go. So we see a lot of the photos. Uh, they're not going to be in order, unfortunately, so it's kind of hard to get a, a sense of it. They might jump around a bit. So once this is done, we're going to do Control A to select everything, and then I'm going to use a, another extension called Download Them All. And I'm going to click here, Download Them All. This is really easy. Uh, we these are going to be pretty small files. I'm going to get just the JPEGs. I can see that I have 500 pictures here, and I'm going to click Start. And because these images are about 70, 80 uh, kilobytes, it's going to be over pretty fast, but we'll wait and come back in just a minute when it's done. All right, just a couple minutes later and we're all done. This is downloaded and I can take a look at these now. And as they downloaded, they were all put into order. So it makes gives me a good sense and it looks like they're all from the same series, so that's good. Uh, one last step, I'm going to select all and then I'm going to rename them just because I'll be using virtual dub and I have some tutorials on the website in case you want to use that but I'll just do a quick walk through here so we'll call this uh, Earth and they've all been renamed so that virtual dub can reach them or read them now we go ahead and open virtual dub file open video file then we select the first and just the first from our videos I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see and then I can pl hit play output and we start to get a sense of what the video looks like we can see that the astronaut adjusted the camera a couple times before finding the right position and that's fine we'll just trim that off in the final I do see that the frame rate is lower than I like and virtual dub is going to default to 10 frames per second I'm going to go ahead and change this to 24 and hit play output and there we go that's a pretty good looking video for spending just uh, about five minutes doing it. Um, if you go back through and want to make this into use the high definition images to get the same one what we're going to do is go to filters add and then we're going to click the uh, resize and we're going to make this uh, let's say 1920 or we can even crop it make it a 1920 1080 which is a 1080p um, for this one, it's fine because it's going to be standard definition size. So frame rate, compression, I'm going to select just whatever codec I like and save as AVI. And so we'll just call this Earth 1. Sure, why not? And there we go. The images are pretty small, so that'll go pretty fast. Then we can open this up and take a look at the final result and it looks pretty good. Again, this isn't the high definition. You can go through that's going to be a bit slower, but this is how you can figure out which files you want, uh, what's going to look good, and um, just kind of a fun thing to do. All right, thanks for watching.